Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can easily use Bcartel. I'm going to show you how we can easily open your store, how we can also add your products and connect your payment processors like Stripe or Paypal. So let's start. When you're going to be in Bcartel, the first thing you want to do is go to top right and click sign up. Now here you're going to see pricing plans. I recommend choosing free for start to actually learn how to use it and scale it. And then when you're going to have like a lot of products, then you want to uh, create the bigger plans and choose them. Now I'm going to add an email here. I will add a password. I'm going to add a shop name. This is going to be Marcus Stonelius. And you have the shop URL here. If you want, you can also change it. Let's click sign up. Okay, let's wait. And voila, here we have it. So what I really like, the big car tool is quite intuitive. And you see that you can add your product. This is how we are going to start. Then we are going to pick a theme and customize it. We will set up the checkout and we can also add a profile image, a discount and browse app and integrations. So let's start. So the first thing, add your products. Click on it. Okay. Add your products. This is where you add the most important part of your shop, your products. Click here, add the products. Now add a product. Simply add a product name. I'm going to add a Nike shoes. I will click here on the left side, add an image. And now I will just find the shoes. And here I have it. Description. These shoes are perfect. And like just add a description for your product. Then you have categories here. You simply click plus. You don't have any categories yet. To get started, click the Manage Categories button below to add your first category. Manage Categories and add a category. Category name is going to be Shoes. Like if you're going to, I don't know, sell t-shirts, you add a category t-shirt. Save. Click Done here. When I have it, I'm going to see Status here. Status is going to be active. I can click on it. Uh, you can have it as a hidden sold out coming soon. Plenty of people who are selling a lot, they just choose this sold out for the product uh, because they don't have it anymore. Then we have a price here. Again, I added like, I don't know, 50. And also what you can do is to add it on sale on the right side or not on sale. Again, up to you. Then you have options here. Add options like size and color. And then we have like add individual options and add grouped options. So you can also enable inventory tracking. Individual options. Uh, we can go option, let's say option one, option two, and change the price for it. So green price 65. And that's what you can do. Oh, sorry. So option green price is 65 euro and you can add uh, multiple. Also, if I'm going to delete it, I can add grouped options. What does it mean? Create a group such as size, color and cut and assign them values like small, medium and large. This will also create a new options for all variations such as small blue crew. And that's pretty much it how it is. Then you have like enable inventory tracking here. Again, set the stock quantities to make sure you're only selling what you have on hand. We'll keep track of the numbers and your product status will automatically update to sold out when the last one sells. You can do it too. Then you have shipping here. Again, you can add it. So let's say uh, everywhere. Alone or with others. Again, you add a price. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Then you have like US test code uh, that you can edit too. When I have it, click save. Okay, we got it. The next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to click you completed 20% uh, of your setup. So click on it. And now pick a theme and customize. Keep your branding on point by customizing your theme, pick colors and fonts, add your logo and images, make your own own. Okay, customize your theme. Now, as you can see, we see the product that we created. The first thing we want to do is go to top left to themes and just simply 
choose a theme you want. So you can go with a roadie or netizen, a Dyson, and you have plenty of themes that you can choose from. And you can kind of choose which one you want. I like this one, so I'm going to use this one. Then what I will do, I will customize it. So the first thing what you can do is to change header logo. I will click plus here and I'm going to add a baby Yoda. And let's see how it's going to change. As we can see, we got a logo here. Home page welcome image. Again, I can upload it. And just choose um, this one here. It's like the random product, which is going to be uh, the page welcome image, as you can see right here. So this is what people are going to see. And then they can just scroll down. Then we have lookbook. Adds a gallery to the specified lookbook page. And you can upload it right here. And then you have like background colors here. So we can change the text color, button background, secondary background, accent background, home welcome pattern, left gradient, right gradient, etc. And now when you're going to scroll down even more, you're going to see announcement text, welcome subheader. So we can go, thanks, thanks for, or like free up 50 euro welcome subheader welcome header c welcome button shop now or welcome header thanks for coming oh as you can see you can edit too then you can choose the welcome image overlay as a blank note hide out on the right bottom it's changing or none Or diagonal lines as you can see it's a little bit clouded the all the opacity is uh, lower product list rails we can go all layout we can have rows or masonry so again when i'm going to have a lot of shoes it's going to change then you have maximum products per row maximum products per row mobile featured categories featured products featured products order and you can edit really if you're gonna have like a lot of products here and then you just simply add your Twitter URL here. Then you can add also Facebook URL, literally everything here. So that's how we can change things here. Then we have the next thing and the pages. Add the page to talk about who you are, explain your return policy, show all blog and more. Click plus here. And again, page name, we can add like about us or like our story. And you simply write here, our story began in 2012 when we created our first product. And then you would just add images, etc. Click done here. When I'm going to click down, I can see that we got our page right here in a cart. I would see that I have those nice shoes. I can click checkout here. So, and that's how we can work with Picartle. And then you have like advanced here that you can edit the CSS. When we have it, let's click save. Nice. When we have it. We see that, okay, we got the, our shop here as our account. And what we can do is to edit the shop info here or customize the design. So when we're here in our account, let's edit our shop info. And you can change the currency here. You can add your custom uh, domain. You can also add Google Analytics here, change the country, time zone. So uh, that's how we can do it. Click save. Now when I'm here, I'm going to continue. You've completed 30% of your shop setup. So click on it again. And now we got a theme and we customized it. We got up our products and now set up your checkout. So let's click on it again. And now getting paid is important. Choose to accept credit card payment. Both set up checkout. And now accept payments with PayPal. 
or you can accept cards with a stripe. This is pretty straightforward. You just click here, connect. And I'm, I got it already connected. So all you have to do is just add your email address. I'm not going to also add mine because it's just tutorial, but here you can simply connect your PayPal, PayPal account. Back to account. When you got connected your account, let's go to dashboard. Let's click again, you've completed 30% of your sh shop setup. Uh, you can add a profile image here. And again, you can upload it if you want to. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Nice. Let's go back. You can also add a discount here. Use discounts to promote new products, reward loyal customers and drive up sales. And now again, I can click here, add a discount. And now discount count can be you. Generate random one, description to 10 euro cheaper. And now when a customer orders anything, starting now, when a customer spent at least 50 euro, you can really just choose the format here. Give them free shipping, give them percentage discount, 10 euro cheaper. So we are going to give them a flat rate discount on their order okay starting now expiring never click save so when when a customer spends at least 50 euro we are going to give them a flat rate discount in for 10 euro starting on march expiring never click save nice we got it and I'm back to discounts this is where we're going to have a discount and further, you can also browse apps and integrations here. And again, simple as that. Marketing promotional apps, manufacturing, shipping fulfillment apps, store manage apps. So you can see plenty of applications uh, that you can integrate with a big cartel. And that's pretty much it. So this is how you can use it. Then you can also add your custom domain here, but you need to upgrade a your shop for it. See, and you just add a domain. That's like really simple too. And you can also change when you would go to top right to your account. You can edit the billing here, the shipping profiles, preferences, email me when I receive a new order. You can change the security here as so your password. And this is like pretty straightforward. So. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. Bcartel is an amazing site for small, not a lot of products. And if you have Instagram, what I really like that is like cheap. So you can use it. And yeah, have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.